Hi friends, uh, we have gone through chapters like hydrocarbons and uh, uh, alkanes, alkenes, alkynes and so. So, uh, we have studied like non-polar compounds up till now. So, the properties of non-polar compounds have been greatly motivated by uh, Van der Waals forces. Okay? Uh, moreover, the physical properties of uh, physical properties of like non-polar solvents or uh, sorry non-polar organic compounds organic compounds have been uh, like this low boiling point low melting point solubility in non-polar solvents and uh, insolubility in polar solvents ok so this solvation part is greatly governed by the general rule like <coughs> sorry dissolves like ok fine so like dissolves like is a very fundamental uh, very fundamental theorem that uh, gives us a general idea that what kind of compounds get dissolved in which kind of solvents okay so as talking about non polar organic solvents you can see that non polar organic solvents are soluble in non non polar compounds are soluble in non polar solvents and insoluble in polar solvents as in for example water okay so um, the properties the physical properties of uh, the hydrocarbons have been like this okay so so talking about the boiling point boiling point we took into consideration uh, a fundamental force that is a uh, van der Waals force okay so I presume uh, you must be knowing about van der Waals forces Van der Waals forces. This uh, Van der Waals force is proportional to the molecular weight of compounds. This is also proportional to the surface area of the compounds. Okay. So, if the surface area of the molecule increases, Van der Waals force increases and if the van der Waals, uh, if the molecular weight increases van der Waals force increases now this van der Waals force now boiling point is directly related to van der Waals force ok so boiling point is proportional to van der Waals force ok so if we have if a compound has more van der Waals forces its boiling point will be more ok so very simple uh, now let's see what uh, this this is just a recapitulation not what you have learned in the hydrocarbon chapter let's let's assume a molecule of pentane normal pentane okay its isomer one methyl butane one more isomer two to dimethyl propane okay so as we can see 
the surface area of this molecule is larger than this which is also greater than this so as you can see when the branching of the alkanes increases the surface area is getting reduced this molecule as you can see is assuming a spherical shape a spherical shape as we know that a sphere has the least uh, has the least surface area for a particular volume of a uh, for a particular volume okay so if the surf if the molecule is more of a spherical kind its surface area will be less thus reducing its uh, thus re uh, reducing its van der waals force and thus its boiling point reduces okay so as you can see the the boiling point the the order of the boiling point as we can see is um one greater than two greater than three this can be explained on the basic uh, on the basis of van der waals force van der waals forces okay van der waals forces the same fundas can be applied to alcohols also okay so if we do like this so now you can see that if we have one pentane this is one pentanol sorry one pentanol we have three methyl but one all butan one all and we have two to dimethyl propan one all as you can see this molecule is gaining a spherical shape is gaining a spherical shape okay as compared to this which is more of linear okay so van der waals force in this case is lesser than that of this case so as the branching increases the boiling point decreases okay so the order of boiling point in this case is order of boiling point let this be a b and c so a is greater than b is greater than c and not to mention that these are of comparable or equal molecular masses okay so uh, we got an idea that when the branching increases boiling point decreases because when there is a branching the molecule gains a spherical shape the spherical shape has less surface area or lesser surface area than that of in case of the linear chain or the straight chain alcohol because of this van der waals forces decreases thus decreasing the boiling point okay fine so this was nothing very new as come as that we learned from the hydrocarbon chapter